Okay, we're going to do talk about some updates to the Comjot device. It's still the CJ1, right? Yeah, CJ1. CJ1. Yep. Cool, Joe. Thanks for taking the time today. Yeah. Tell us all about it, man. All right, man. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, we made a, a recent change with, with our development here, allowing both a Google version and a non-Google version of this device. So many of our customers have communicated to us that they would love an Android radio, but they don't want Google monitoring what they're doing on that device. I didn't realize how big of an issue this was until I actually logged into my Google profile online and saw that Google could see where I was, how long I spent at different locations. You know, very, very creepy to know that Google is archiving all this information, including all my messages and phone calls and storing it in their Google Cloud. So when we found this out, we talked to our manufacturer and said, we need both a Google version and a non-Google version of this radio, one that's se completely secure from the Google platform. So they did that for us. So our latest version of the Comjot radio that is shipping now comes with an option of either running a Google operating system or a complete operating system that's fully Android, Android 14, but does not have Google services installed. So you are completely isolated from that Google cloud. Again, this is a full DMR, UHF, VHF radio, allowing um, communication from 136 to 174, 400 to 480 megahertz. We are working October, between now and October, we'll be rolling out in the Comjot app a version of radio over IP that does DMR and Fusion. We are hoping for um, D-Star down the road, um, but Fusion and uh, DMR will be the first um, radio over IP versions that'll launch with the Comjot app in the, in the radio. Um, one other addition, um, Comjot has um, partnered with the R Finder company, and we will be offering the ability to purchase a license um, for their new RF2 um, R Finder software. So you'd be able to run the Comjot app, and if you're a fan of the R Finder platform, you can also run the R Finder app on the same device with the latest version of Android. And is it is it Part 90? It is Part 90 okay. certified. Yep. Okay. So that's, that's why it's full open on, on both full bands. Full open, yeah. yep. And along those same lines, because of the Part 90, it, it does also offer AES-256 encryption on, on any of the frequencies. So for commercial usage, sometimes commercial people need to have encryption on their device. This has AES-256 integrated. Fully unlocked for all cellular, cellular providers. Dual SIMs, are, both SIM cards are unlocked. Can run Verizon, AT&T. One of our users right now is a FirstNet user. He's using FirstNet on his device as well as Verizon. Cool, man. Thanks for the update, Joe. Yeah, man. We'll be talking soon. Sounds good, Jason. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Thank you.